Okay, I'm Ivy. We'll be your hosts for tonight. Hope you all are super excited for Function of Amber, presented by the Associate Students Program Board here at UCR. Before we get started, we just want to let you know some great upcoming events we have for this winter quarter. Yeah, so first things first, we got our first movie premiere of the quarter uh, for Maze Runner, The Death Cure. That'll be next Thursday. For more information about ticket distribution, you can go ahead and check out our social media at ASB underscore UCR. And then on January 9th, we are bringing out Jenny Breeze, also known as Jenny69. She's a social media beauty girl. So definitely come out to that. It'll be at Hub 302 at 7 p.m. Also, on January, January 30th, we will be having The Sound of Tomorrow featuring Joe Kay from Selection, the co editor of Selection. And it will be also here at Hub 302 at 7 p.m. All right, and before we bring out Amber tonight, uh, <laughs> No, y'all want to listen for this. We got a really cool opportunity for you to meet Amber with some meet and greet wristbands. Oh. All right. Give so me what one. Ivy and I are gonna do? We got some trivia questions for y'all. Okay, shut up. If you think you know the right answer to the question, please raise your hand. Ivy and I will go ahead and pick one of you out, and then one of our staff members will go ahead and hand you a microphone. All right, so who's ready? Yes, we're ready, yeah. All right, first, first question of the night. What is Amber's full name, including her middle name? Blue, Amber uh, Back there in the green. Josephine Leo. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. What is the effects of facial fan color? Which high school did Amber attend? <laughs> Alcamino 
High School. El Camino Real. Yeah, that's it! <laughs> Can you give him that just because he feels bad for Echo Backer? He's so confident. What year did Amber debut in FX? <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> is this what you do in like Christmas gatherings? Yeah, FX is not in your... 2009. Correct. I think it was. That's the year I graduated high school. Really? Yeah. I have a question yeah. tonight. People watching that should be something like, did you go to school with her? What are the names of Amber's two current pets? Jack Tuckin! Oh my god, I forgot Jack Tuckin! Jack Tuckin! Um, Jack Tuckin! Oh my god, Jack Tuckin! 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 Jack Jack and Tuna? No, we're wrong. Alright, that's all the trivia questions we got for tonight. For tonight? Are you serious? Yeah. 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 Journey, and then you're gonna 
step into reality or think a lot of you guys are already in reality with student loans and whatnot. You guys are <laughs> learning about responsibilities. So, you know, think about that. Like, what is happiness to you? What is success to you? And the reason why I say that is I think society gives us this really weird standard, like, this is what success is, you know? And I think that's very different for everybody. And I think everybody's ambitions, everybody's skill sets, everybody's mindsets are very different. So keep that in your head. And when I went to Korea at 15, yeah, I'm a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was great. You know, I thought me singing and dancing, um, doing all, doing what I'm doing now would make me happy. And well, yeah, that's gonna be great. I'm on stage and I'm with all these fans. And it, yeah, I'm very thankful for that experience. And I'm still experiencing it now, which, you know, I thank you guys for. Is it okay for me to walk around? Yes! 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 So I was like, I'm like kind of making this half person when I'm going. Back on topic, sorry. <laughs> but um, I always felt like something was really missing, you know, and I, I think I spent the last around six years just trying to figure out what that missing thing was. And I was just like, what am I doing with my life? You know, I, I have so many things to be thankful for. You know, I have great fans, I have a great career, I have loving family, great friends, but this, it just wasn't like, something was just really missing. So I came up with, I guess, I don't know, seven things? <laughs> <laughs> seven things, yeah, seven things that I guess, if it could help you, you know, um, please take notes if you want. You guys are in college. <laughs> you know, write on your phone or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, seven, I came up with seven things that I think I've, come up with so far on this journey to kind of find who I am and um, I guess pursue what I want to pursue. So number one, number one, okay, number one. <laughs> number one, you don't need to please everybody. And I'm pretty sure you guys all know this. Yes. There's a lot of people, we all come from different backgrounds, different cultures, different skill sets. There's really no point in pleasing everybody. Like my sister, dude, my sister right here, Jackie, say hi. Yes, please! Please, yes. Yes. We can't stand being in the same room for more than 10 minutes. That's not true! <laughs> <That's me. laughs> so, don't be so hard on yourself. And there's no need for you to get everybody to like you. You're gonna meet different people, you're gonna clash with your best friends, um, you're gonna just be thrown into the world because we have the internet now. Everybody has an opinion. So, no need for that. <laughs> Number two is never. Uh, yeah, that's very hard to me. <laughs> Sorry. Number two is not everything has to be. Uh, no, oh my gosh. Yeah, English is very hard today. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you don't need to compete constantly over everything. And number one, the reason why is because it's just like a really, it's gonna drain you, you know? You're, it's great to have ambitions, it's great to have goals, but to constantly top somebody else or compare yourself to some, uh, compare yourself to somebody for what they have and what you don't have, it's really, really draining and it's gonna drive you nuts. And, you know, be realistic, I guess, in that case, you know? And, uh, you know, you gotta enjoy things. So that segues to my third point, <laughs> which is you don't need to keep looking at the benefits of a situation. And what that means is, uh, my analogy that I give is when you're going on a jog, who likes jogging? No one. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys like jogging? <laughs> jogging is fun. Bokita? <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, for those of you who like jogging, oh my, for those who don't like jogging, you guys will obviously understand this. Uh, when you're on a jog, you're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, when is it over? Oh, I just want to get back home and you know binge and watch Netflix, right? Yes. But if you if you start that jog and you just kind of just dreading the whole thing, 
well, how, what time, when am I gonna get to point A to point B? You're never, you miss out on a lot. And what I mean by that is you could have appreciated the trees, the sky, the fresh air. So whatever you're doing, enjoy that process. And don't only look, okay, just because I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get this, get this, get this. So enjoy the process of all that. And then number four, four is to be careful with fame, money, and power. <laughs> Sorry, got really deep in it. <laughs> um, these three things are gonna, you guys are in college right now, you guys are gonna graduate, you guys already have jobs, right? You guys are gonna go up and you're gonna go up in ranks and you're going to, you know, these three things are gonna come with wherever you go. And what, the reason why I say be careful with fame, money, power is that it's, it's unavoidable. You know, you're gonna make a living, you're gonna meet a lot of people, and then you're gonna get to a certain status where you can dictate and do th certain things. And one thing that I was like hurt, when I got hurt, um, what I was most hurt by was, I see a lot of passionate, smart, hardworking people, and because of one of these three things, or all three of these things, they just fall into horrible habits, they lose a lot of relationships, they, um, just lose themselves. And I think the challenge is that when these, three, when these three unavoidable things come is how do you utilize it and how do you make what you want into a reality without it overwhelming you? So keep that in mind. Number five is to not only work hard but work smart. Anybody can work hard. You're gonna, you're gonna stay up all night writing that essay, um, doing shifts, but it's like digging a hole with the chops, with chopsticks, you know? You, anybody can do that. I, I can work really hard and dig a hole with chopsticks, but that's why the smart factor comes in. How are you going to utilize your time? How are you, how are you going to divide up um, your time and how are you going to use it to your benefit? Like working out, you know, you're not gonna constantly work out your chest muscles like every single day. You just have a really big chest, which I don't have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Get ADD, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, like with working out, you're gonna work on, you have a chest day, you have a leg day, then you have a back day, you're gonna have, then your rest days, and then you also have to have a good diet. So you have to work smart in these situations, and you're gonna constantly learn and gonna keep building up that, I guess, lifestyle vocabulary as you go on. My sixth point is to help one another. That's a no-brainer. We're all peoples of different backgrounds, different races, different cultures, different religions. We're going to, we have to learn how to function together. And I think what's so beautiful about society is that you're gonna have your accountants, you're gonna have my managers, you're gonna have uh, students, you're gonna have teachers, and everybody needs to work together to create a team, to create a community. So what I see a lot in Societies that when we have our differences, we we tend to push each other away, and we tend to bring each other down, or something like that. You know, that's not cool. So, help somebody. When someone's when someone falls down, what do you do? You you pull them up, right? So, do it. <laughs> and uh, I definitely know that when I was in a really really bad place, if I didn't have that person to pull me up you know, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, what you, you can always make a difference. And my last and final point before Q&A is to listen and to communicate with each other. Again, we're all different, and society tells us to, when we express emotions and when we express vulnerability, it's, it makes you less of a person. It's very embarrassing, you know? And I think when we, take that chance to express our emotions and our vulnerability, we actually learn more about each other. So take the time to listen. And there's a time when I felt like 
really alone. I was in a really dark place. And after a lot of thought, you know, I just decided to open up to one of my friends. And they didn't judge me. They didn't say anything. They didn't care. They didn't, like, you know, bash my character. They just listened. And I think that we also need to, as a society, open up ourselves with, you know, with our minds, but most importantly with an open heart to each other because we need each other to function. So I know that this is a really like cliche list, but they're very, very important aspects of our life that I think we tend to forget about as we go more deeper into society. So hope this list helps you out. And um, thank you guys for listening to me rant. For <laughs> Uh, thank you, Andrew, for that wonderful introduction. Could you get another round of applause? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to bring up our uh, host, and this lady, wonderful young lady, is an ASPB and UCR alumni. Please put your hands together for Grace Beck. You guys listening out there, I hope uh, you know you have some good food for thought when you go back home, and I uh, hope good luck on your finals and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm awkward, great. <laughs> um, and then, so you're in LA right now. How long have you been in LA? Um, have you been traveling back and forth from the um, This time I flew, I just flew in this morning. Oh, so, from Korea? yeah, from Korea. And then uh, I've just been going back and forth oh. here and there. So. So yeah. what is the purpose of um, you being in LA right now, or the travel? Well, to see you guys, number one. And then, uh... <laughs> this is such a weird, this is such a weird Who made this? Grandma! Is it Obama? Is it Obama? Yeah. <laughs> this is a UCI mascot. You see, see um, uh, um, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, Riverside's cool. This meant like, you know, like, you know, like, uh, you know, like, what do you call this, you know, the, like, you know, what's the matter with you? I was all like, wait, this is like the Asian version of it, so, yeah. No one does the big cards. Yeah, this is like, this is so like three years ago. I know. <laughs> there were the times, y'all. Yeah. So what's the purpose of you um, traveling back and forth? Um, well, I, I want to spend more time with family. So, yeah, that's why my sister's here. Yeah. Aww. Aww. I did not pay you to be here. <laughs> <laughs> See you at home. <laughs> Do you have any, like, cool spots or hangout places um, you like to go to while you're here? Um, Boba. Boba. I already have Boba today. I had, well, I had Boba twice today because of somebody. Aww. Like, Bo. <laughs> yeah, he wanted Boba twice today. I was all like, girl, I don't know. There's not a lot in Riverside. Really? You have to oh, yeah. Far from yeah, yeah, Boba. I thought it's Riverside was near the OC. I was so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, half and half. You guys know that. There's like, <laughs> gotta get your punch cards. You gotta get the punch cards. <laughs> and then there's a uh, what do you call it? Um, cha Chatu. <laughs> I went there right after Disneyland. I was very happy. But then the, the car ride home was really bad because I needed to pee constantly. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, flavor? Um, if they have Thai, Thai tea, Thai tea, Thai tea. Thai tea, <laughs> thai tea or any like lemony, like honey, green tea type of thing with bobbers. Yes. And you gotta get the herbal jelly. And you gotta get the IU. 
IU, which is like grass, it's grass gel, I don't know, grass gel, lemon, lemon jelly, I don't know. Great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we know that you have many solo acts. It's been um, very frequent, right? And so we know that you came out with a new song with Luna. Yeah. 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 It was it was fun. Um, it was very like uh, me and me and Lu Luna. Was, Luna's doing her musical right now. Oh my gosh, that musical is so crazy. Yeah. It's called The Last Kiss, and it's about some like Romeo, like uh, some uh, what was that? Austri Austrian like Prince Ilma is so crazy. It was really cool. Anyway, yeah, sorry, ADD again. Um, yeah, she's doing her musical, so I she was like she volunteered me for to direct the video. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, uh, like we're just like chatting in the car, and she's like, yeah, yeah, I want you to direct. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then um, my manager calls me, he's like, hey, yeah, so um, you're going to direct the video and then this is the budget, this is what you need to do. And I'm like, okay, so this is happening. <laughs> so yeah, we do, we're doing that. And then, um, yeah, she, I, I was having fun because I had time and I was just doing a lot of video stuff at that time. So it was like, I was in the flow, but then she was doing her musical and she would like, come at like 12 a.m. to practice to like 3 and then 3 a.m. and then she would go to the musical the next day. So. Yeah, I felt like a manager because I was like coordinating scheduling. I was calling people. I was like, hey, does this, does this time work? They're like, no, we can't do this time. So yeah, a lot more technicalities that went into that. So you directed um, the whole music video yeah. from start to finish. Yeah, and then uh, we, we, had, we, had, we had a lot of options for the songs. So they might come out later. Yeah. 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 Insinuating in a comeback soon? For the group? Yeah. Yeah. So SF's SF, um, telephone number, we'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> uh, and then at SM Town Global, there's a Twitter and uh, leave your leave your number. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, we're uh, we're just always prepping. Like I'm always just trying to prep what I can, and then uh, yeah, just doing stuff. Stuff like we're not sitting on our butt. We're doing stuff. So hopefully it comes out. We just wanna yeah, we just want it to be ready. But going back to your uh, collab with Luna, could you show us one of the, I guess, iconic dance moves? Yes, please! Yes, please! Yes! Yes! Okay. You can teach someone okay. from so the audience. The funniest can... thing about the choreography was when I went to the choreographer, I was all like, hey, so this is my vision. I, there's three drops in this, and I want you to choreograph all three of them differently, in different styles. And she was like, okay. And then on the first draft, I kind of felt like a, like a, little flat face when I said this dress, I'm like, hey, can you make it harder? <laughs> so, and I'm like, and I don't want those like, you know in K-pop they have point dances? And I was like, I'm like, none of that. I, do, I, want, I want everything intricate, like, no, right, left, right, right, left, right, none of that. I was like, just do left, right, and then do like, and then take me to Antarctica or something. Like that. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, like, there's, I can, well, there, the only like thing I could, there's like a lot of house, I actually don't even remember it, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't remember. Dance like, monkey. Dance monkey dance. <laughs> wait, hold on. Oh uh, no, that's a different one. I don't remember, we learned it, we learned it in two days, so I don't really remember, wait, hold on. No, why did I say that? Sorry, I don't like it. Play, play the song. song. I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't remember it. I mean, Cause we just literally learned it, shot it the next day, and then we just forgot about it. How someone show it to you? Was it? Does Make anyone from the team. audience know? Does Ooh. anybody know? Yes. 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 No? Yes. Yeah, I, I don't want to put you on the spot if you don't want to do it. Do it. No, but no. What's, what's worthy? She doesn't know it. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Do it together. No, what I feel really bad about is like, just to be real with you guys, like I feel like the fans know things better than we do. Because, like, I really don't remember a lot of things. I remember when we were doing our concert um, back in 2016, I think. Yeah, 2016 ish. I didn't remember anything. <laughs> Yeah, but it just takes time to... Yeah, sorry guys, I really don't remember it. It's gonna take you like five minutes just staring at me, doing like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> okay! That's but do you have, um, so are you planning to release more solo albums? Do you have a plan to maybe release a rap album? Just so oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I mentioned it on Twitter a couple times, and I don't know if people, like, it's like, I just do it because I feel like it, but I have a mixtape coming out soon. Yeah. 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 yeah, soon, very soon. How soon? Um, what's it? How soon? What's the date? <laughs> in... 17. In... A month. Maybe within a month. To do something fun, so yeah, I just me and my friends just wanted to do something like total passion project. We don't care about anything. We just want to experiment, and we just did. We just did what we could. So and it'd be fun. Um, a little snippet, maybe. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Hold on, hold on. All this, all the songs are so different. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, um. What you love me? <laughs> um. Feels like three billion years, and I can't change the fact that. Oh, sorry, I don't even remember. Yes! Yes! Big round of applause. Yeah, sorry. You, need to, you guys put me on the spot. I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, I do you remember. But I actually have mentioned it all the song titles on one of my friends' videos subliminally, so figure that out. <laughs> do you have any artists that you would love to collab with, either here or in Korea or? Anywhere in the Do you guys know Day6? Yeah! So, I met up with Jay recently. Yeah! For... yeah, so I met up with him recently for something. Wink, wink. And, uh, I, was, I felt really bad because, like, I know their, like, first song, and that was it. And I was like, and a couple other, like, like, what, like, Yeposa, I think, like, You're Beautiful. Yeah! Oh, like, some songs like that, right? And I was like, I don't really know his music, so I haven't listened to it. Dude, it's been like on my playlist for like the past like two weeks. So, uh, oh, no, 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 um, Day Six. J from Day Six. J from Day Six. Yeah, there's a lot of J Hyung. Sorry, J Hyung. Day Six. So yeah, recommend you listen to Day Six. That like has been like, yeah. great music and other stuff. Or artists that you personally love and listen to? Like, what is your, what is some of the music that gets you pumped um, in the morning or something, or through workouts or dinner um, time? At dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Eat with passion. Um, uh, recently, I've been listening to Day Six. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, always like a good comfort zone is like Blink One Eight Two, Sun Forty Eight. All those. Really old stuff. Like well, the new stuff. The new stuff is good too. Um, uh, what else have I been listening to? Uh, huh. Any K-pop groups or artists that you're into these days? Yeah. 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 Okay, all the BTS. <laughs> <laughs> other, other, other than BTS. Other than me. Um, FX. It's me. It's me. I actually haven't listened to BTS recent thing. I feel so bad. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> um. Who have I been listening to? I I actually have been kind of out of touch with K-pop these days. I just because I'm the type of person I listen to like a lot of the old stuff that I listen to, and I don't really like. I explore new stuff, but then I'm just like kind of like going back to the old stuff. So, like old school, like old school shiny. I was listening to their one, one of one album. That was really good. And, uh, oh, where's oh? Um, yeah, DBSK is always like a really good comfort yeah. zone. Um, I don't know if you guys know, like Flight to the Sky, old school Flight to the Sky. Um, they're very aware of. You guys are very good. Yeah. Good. You didn't know these groups. Um, like not like not like the idol K-pop. Like other K-pop is what I I you I started listening to Korean music through not. Idol music, so when people ask me, like, oh, so how'd you get to Korea? Like, I'm like, I liked this one ballad group. <laughs> They're like, oh, wow, you like ballads? I'm like, yeah, I love ballads. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, there's a, they're always nice to revisit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then another question is how, uh, how did you get yourself into being in the entertainment industry? Like, how did your parents feel about it? And what was, like, the... My like, dad <laughs> Um... But I, I was I was casted um, in in K Town. <laughs> I don't think I was casted in K Town, and then 
did an audition process, got in. Um, my dad was really against it. He he, you know, it's not it's not like the ideal. Um, Tip, sorry, typical Asian like household thinking like entertainment. Why? Because <laughs> I, I was I was getting like I was on the right track to go to a good school and everything. But um, my mom was extremely supportive. Uh, so she was just like, "Do what your heart tells you." Right? And I'm all like, "Oh, my mom! I love my mom. She's so cute." She's like, "Amber, whatever you do, you need to love it. You have one life. Yolo. Well, not Yolo. <laughs> but you said something similar to Yolo." <laughs> But yeah, my my dad he's he's come around a little bit. He's just like, cause um, you know, it, being in entertainment is, it is really risky, and um, you know, luckily our group is, did take off very very fast. So um, very fortunate, very thankful for that, and very blessed. So yeah, just they must be really proud to see you on TV and all that. How do they? I think go? they're at a point where like, when are you gonna come home? <laughs> yeah, I'm away from them. Yeah, I'm away from them a lot, and uh, yeah, that's the one thing that I kind of like really try to make a goal was, you know, I, I think I need more family time and more friend time. So um, working is great, but you know, like I said before, rest, work, you need to, you know, work smart work and work-life balance. So yeah. Did yeah. you always want to become um, a senior? I didn't think it was a pos it was possible <laughs> until... Why do you say I, that? I, yeah, well, because like when the opportunity came, like obviously when you grow up, you're like, yeah, even though I want to be a singer, you're not going to like like very little percent of people can you know really make it to quote unquote the top and whatnot and i think that's again what we uh see but just you know if whoever wants to get into entertainment you know you don't always have to be that top one percent to be successful in the industry like i said that's why i said what is success to you you know because there's a lot of working actors there's you know people in, in, in my sister worked at a radio station she was in entertainment you know like there's a lot of different ways to be involved in the industry so whoever's inter interested in that you know don't you don't always have to be that one percent don't let that discourage you that's just like you know the you know the, the i want to say lucky that's not the right word but you know that there's a, the you know ah, man, i don't even know how to say this english is very hard today <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a fun industry, so yeah. And then we all know that you have a YouTube channel. Yeah! Uh, and we're on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And so what made you want to create a channel? I legitimately felt that, you know, I've been on TV a lot and I think that it's really fun, but I think there's a whole different side that you can't get on TV that for certain artists. So I really wanted to, I guess, just take that into my own hands. You know, I I, did, I wanted to make something that was just like so real. Just, you know, there's no script. There's no, no like weird. You know, I want to say manipulate. Like no like weird fakeness or whatever. Um, it's just raw. I think it's very raw. Original. Sorry, not 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 fakeness, but it's like. Man, I can't find the right words today. Yeah, okay. something a little bit more raw and personal. I want something personal because I, um, I also felt that there was a lot of things that I wanted to talk about and that I wanted to share with people that people were very curious about them and there was no platform to do it. So, you know, if you guys are interested in my really weird life, you know, you may check out my YouTube channel. Um, and I, I know it's not for everyone, so, but it's... It's, Check it out. It's I weird. think it's really fun. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of weird things, and my sense of humor is very, very, like, at a third grade level. It's funny! <laughs> so, well, I'm, I'm actually really glad people, like, like it, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys, whoever watched it. Yeah. So. And what is it like to, like, create the content? Because you obviously have to direct it from, you know, start to bottom, yeah. and where do you get the ideas from, your inspiration? I... I'm just very spontaneous. A lot of things are very spontaneous. And um, I do have a lot of friends who did YouTube, so they're just like, you know, all you, you, like, the audience wants is basically you to be you. And I was like, wait, yeah, that's what I want from the channels that I subscribe to. Oh, that makes sense. So, um, yeah, it's, 
I, I always forget how much goes into like making videos, and it's not it's not an easy process. You have to cut everything. You have to make sure you get all the shots that you want, or you have to make sure that everything flows together, or you just have this really weird transition, which is basically eighty percent of my videos because I'm really good. <laughs> um, but it's also you know it's it's I just love having infinite like uh, space to create whatever I want, um, and. Even like the whole chest, have you guys seen my chest video? Yeah. 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 It was so funny. Yeah, even what happened yeah, like, to begin with. Like even something like that, like that's something that I've wanted to make for years because I've just seen it. But then like, again, that's the reason why I wanted to make my YouTube is just because like, I just wanted to just fire back at people the way I wanted to. Because I'm, I'm not like a, you know, I'm not always like, giggly and bubbly, I'm always, I'm kind of, I'm very actually like pessimistic a lot, and I'm just like, I hate these people. <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, be creative and see how I could, you know, use that against them, and you know, uh, a lot of- Respond in a positive yeah. way, kind of. Yeah, and like a lot of, like, and you see a lot of hate comment videos, and it's like, wow, like, it's, there's something like very satisfying with like, you know, firing back at people because these people are just like putting up these mindless comments because they're just behind a screen. But like, dude, say that to my face. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, I, I think it, it's, every, every video is different, every day is different, every concept is different. So it's, it's a challenge and it's really fun. And especially th that I get the, op especially when I get the opportunity to just collab with my friends who aren't celebrities, who are just, um, who just have really great ideas. It's really fun and it's, you know, just, just doing our thing, you know? <laughs> and I think that's something that, again, I want to show people who, you know, have followed me and uh, who've known me for so long that they can have this little, like, this is Amber's Weird Land. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> you are never going to leave. <laughs> Speaking of collaboration, I know that you also worked with BuzzFeed and yeah. Superfruit on yeah. YouTube too. So it's pretty cool. How did it, yeah. how did it feel to be reached out? Oh reached yeah, out? Um, it's I love the internet community because it's just we're just it's very supportive. And, you know, it's just we're just trying to um, support each other on what we can do for each other. Wow, that was a really weird structured sentence, um, but. Uh, even with like me working with Superfruit, it was totally just like Scott, uh, one of the members, uh, just DM'd me on Twitter. And he's like, "Hey, do you want to do this?" I'm like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> and it was just like that. There's, there's no like, "Oh, hi, my name is um, Scott, and I'm from Pentatonics, and I do this, and we have a YouTube channel that does this." And I'm just like, "Oh, okay, you're cool. Let's do something." Yeah. And it's just very organic. And um, and when Buzzfeed also approached me, it was uh, actually through another friend, and we're just, it's very just like chill, and we. I think we, the atmosphere is really different when, you know, we just want realness and chill stuff. Do you have any uh, favorite videos that you've created? Your personal favorites? Or? Um, huh. Do you guys know Amber Rocious? Do you know who that girl is? Amber Rocious? She's my alter ego. Oh, she, no, she's not my alter ego. She's another person. She says, oh, I love her so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I. I am from the valley, and um, A1A, A1A, A1A. Yeah. <laughs> not you San Gabriel people, that is not the valley, yes. <laughs> my girl, <laughs> but um, yeah, people, when people like hear me speak, they don't think that I'm from the valley, like, no, uh, 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 like, I'm from the valley, like, I talk like this, and I'm really excited, I start talking like this, so it comes out, so, so like, and people like think like, oh, Amber, you're not feminine, like, uh-uh, like, girl, you don't even know. <laughs> if you, I don't know, if you, I, I guess people thought it was really funny, so I was like, might as well just make something with this and uh, kind of pay homage to my, my roots and also make fun of people who are actually like that in the, in the world. So, <laughs> yeah, just taking it step by step. I actually don't even know what I'm doing half the time, so, um, yeah, learning along the way. <laughs> Um, we also kind of want to get more insight in the K-pop industry and what that's actually like, and any like um, challenging or rewarding aspects of working in that industry. Well, one thing that I really love about K-pop is once you're kind of thrown into it, you're kind of opened up to the whole world just because K-pop has that um, that reach right now, especially because of the internet. And um, so, like, I traveled to like Japan, China. I went to. Uh, 
where is it? Malaysia, sorry. Uh, Singapore, I went to all these different countries and you just get to experience a lot of um, cultures that are very, very different, that are right next to right next to a certain country. Because like, I guess in the States, like I don't know, just me personally, I feel like it's kind of similar in a certain way. Um, except New York, people walk too fast there. <laughs> and they have really cold weather, no one likes that too. I'm just kidding. Um, but, uh, and how like, lang like, you get exposed to different languages, so big uh, encouragement for all of you to travel, please. Traveling is really, really cool. And you kind of just kind of get out of that bubble. So, um, and uh, how the kind of music can speak to someone even though they don't understand it, because I was one of those people, I'm pretty sure you guys are those people too. Like, you know, I'm, Ch I'm like Chinese, I don't understand any Korean, and I just like this song because it just has this emotion and it speaks to you. And so, uh, yeah, like, K-pop is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, could you talk to us about like the different cultural differences that you've experienced in Korea and mm. the direction that they're heading? How, how specific do you want me to be? Very, like, very, very specific. I can be very general with this. It's just, um, is there a certain uh, aspect you would want me to? It could be. It could be in regards to like uh, everything. Like gender conformity. Mm, okay. Or, okay. So you want to go there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, girls. <so. laughs> well. Um, the way I felt it, like when I first went to Korea, definitely there was like um, gender roles are very, very, um, I guess, a lot more black and white there, um, because you know there is a standard of beauty, which is you know it's that's their culture, which you know I try to look to respect. But um, as the year, as when I debuted, um, that was one of the goals that like uh, my my I guess direction for me who. Uh, those are so hard today. Sorry, guys. Um, for the persona that um, they wanted to push for me was, you know, they wanted, because they knew that there were a lot of more androgynous girls out there. Why? Because there's a lot of feminine guys out there as well, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, we, tr and as the years um, went by, me trying to, you know, just do me, a lot of people, there's a lot of more girls out there who have shorter hair, who are just like, yeah, we want, we, we love you for who you are, and it's, there's a big, there's, it's slowly changing, and like, there's a whole, like, feminist movement out there now, so, um, I think, uh, one, one, I guess, really, very off the bat, really common thing that I definitely do feel is, you know, age is uh, very big in the in, uh, Asian culture, so, but now that I'm old, or, it's been 10 years, guys. I've, I've been out for 10 years, like a whole, it's a decade. It's a lot of boba. Um, you, 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 kind of, you kind of see how like, it's really interesting, like wow, back then, like that difference that you see, and um, it's, it's very interesting. So it is, it's slowly changing. I just definitely, again, because of the internet, I think slowly, I, 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 in my ass assumption, in the future, I think everything, everything's just gonna be this one big culture, kind of. Like, like you know that, like one super race? I don't know, what, what do you call that? Like, when everybody mixes together? I don't know, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> this is what, ha what happens when you like kind of drift off into YouTube and you kind of go to the dark side, kind of start going, analyzing like, you know, what is the future gonna be like, Black Mirror? Oh my gosh. Uh, we're, we're all terrified, aren't we? <laughs> um, sorry, again, sorry, ADD, but, um, yeah, one thing I definitely do see, there's a big change in um, uh, gender uh, conformities and what uh, people see, because especially with my, my chest video, the, sorry, my chest video, the video about <laughs> fighting my chest, um, a lot of people, that actually uh, blew up more in Korea than I guess in the States. And I was very, very surprised because I just saw a stream of like Korean comments saying like, oh my gosh, like, wow, yeah, I don't like it when people judge me because I have to have to look a certain way. And um, yeah, if, if um, guys, a lot of guys can act very feminine, why can't girls can act um, a little bit more masculine? So, you know, baby steps. It's, it's and I think America, like a couple years back was like, was very similar too. So I think everybody's kind of like, you know, definitely everybody's thinking yeah. the same thing. I think it's just up to us to kind of talk about these um, issues. Which is cool that you um, kind of show these and kind of bring awareness through your channel, through the platform that you have. And now we'll probably do um, student Q&A, yeah. so we'll bring our hosts by.
So if you do have a question for Amber, please raise your hand and one of our staff members will go ahead and pick you out and direct you to the microphone to stand in the middle. We just ask that you please be respectful to our guest speaker and not ask for anything such as selfies, autographs, hugs, or any of the sort. <laughs> that's, that's cute. <laughs> uh, do, do, I, do you want me to choose or... Uh, oh yeah, you, you got it. Second meme is the, the Jackie Chan one, like, <laughs> <laughs> like that one. Thank you. Hi. Um, how was it working with DPR for the music video first? Uh, uh, Rome is a really good good friend of mine, and uh, Scott as well. And uh, I think it was a it was a very challenging one for me because it was my first time directing, and uh, I wasn't. I was aware of the th people involved and the teams involved, but um, right now, like, now that I look at it, it was a really, really weird video for me because I was just like <laughs> overly preparing everything. I was just thinking so much, but it was fun, you know? It's always fun, and especially Rome, like when we're editing together, he's just like, you wanna do this? And I'm like, nah, he's like, okay, I'm gonna cut. <laughs> He said, yeah, it was really chill. Because you know, just I started making videos and then Rome was like, hey, let's make videos together. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's natural fun and just yeah, so there's no like let's and glad into that story. But it's just yeah, just uh, friends just having fun together. Love you. Thank you, I love you too. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, where does your swag come from? <laughs> Me? Uh, thank you. Uh, I don't know what swag you're talking about. There's a lot of awkwardness that goes on. Uh, I don't know. I, your older sister. My older sister, yes. My older sister. Um, I, I just try to be honest with myself. I think that's what I try to do. I don't know if that's cool. Thank you for thinking it's cool. Um, uh, I hope people like me being honest, but uh, yeah, um, I just try to stay true to myself and um, you know, just do what I feel feels right in here, not the boot, the heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Especially school, um, if I, you got to find an outlet, a healthy outlet. 